the time. You got it all out on those four issues at your side? Yes, thank you. Okay. I'll yield back, Madam Chairwoman. Thank you. I thank the gentleman. Uh, at this time, I'd like to recognize Mr. Conyers for five minutes of questioning. Mr. Conyers. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, now, you never – did you just say you didn't know anything about caging? What I said was that when I was asked that question at the Senate uh, hearing, all I knew about the subject at that was point was an article. Was that there was an article? Uh huh. Was that article by uh, Greg Pallas about uh, uh, about uh, African American soldiers scrubbed by secret GOP hit list? Right. That's dated June 16, 2006. But was that it, as you recall? That's the article I'm referring to. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and didn't Monica Goodling uh, tell you that caging might come up at the hearing as she was briefing you? Yes, that's correct. And uh, did it come up? It did. And you, you didn't... Uh, and your response was, you you haven't you never looked at the caging, even though Goodling told you uh, you saw the Greg Palace article, and it was put in your briefing right. testimony uh, for the Senate in your briefing book. Right. And you didn't look at the material in your briefing book outside of uh, the article. Mr. Chairman, I didn't read the article. Um, I was aware the article existed because Senator Pryor uh, referred to it in his testimony right before I got up to testify, and uh, Ms. Goodling had raised the issue the, the day before. Uh, but I had not read the article and mm -hmm. had not um, become familiar with the issue. Sure. And even if I had read that article, Mr. Chairman, if I just may say so, even if I had read that article and I was asked that question again by Senator Schumer, I would still be very careful before I started speaking because information based upon just one article. But there was more in your briefing book. Well, there was another Tim Griffin uh, email which gave his explanation of that article, which I've now seen, but I hadn't read before I testified. So could I infer that caging of black voters may not have been one of the high items on your uh, list your responsibility as Deputy Attorney General. Well, I'm not sure what you mean by that. I mean the what I what I mean by it is uh, Goodling told you about it. It's in your cage. It's in your Senate testimony, uh, and yet you fail to answer questions on the subject before the Senate, and you tell me even now. As of today, did you, have you looked at it yet? I've now read the article and I've read that email. No, I mean the whole subject matter of caging. I mean this this disenfranchises lots of people. Well, first of all, uh, you know, caging is is challenging lists of voters that are are, are usually minority voters. And uh, would, the, would the gentleman yield? Because I think Miss. Goodling testified slightly wait, about Wait this. a minute. Uh, l let, me, let me just finish the time question. Time belongs to the gentleman from Michigan. Let him finish his question. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get back to you, Chris. I always yield to you. You know that. Uh, but we, we've, got, we've got a whole train of testimony. This is one of the, the big issues that came out of at least a couple of major elections in this country. Uh, and you, you're saying... Uh, yes, I was told about it. Yes, it was in my my uh, tab in the briefing book for Senate testimony. And uh, yes, I, I looked at Palace's article, but I didn't read it. Uh, why does it not generate much concern or attention to you? This, for me, uh, Voter rights is one of the big problems that we have in terms of having it enforced in the Department of Justice. Well, Mr. Chairman, if I may respond, we're 
dealing with two things here. First of all, with regard to what I knew at the hearing I went to on February 6, mm -hmm. I was about to go and testify on the question of why were certain U.S. attorneys asked to leave and also what happened in the case of, and specifically what happened in the case of Arkansas. The subject having to do with an article making an allegation against a particular person like that was not directly related to what I was doing. As I was preparing and I was given an article the night before, I didn't have the time and I didn't focus on that particular issue because, again, I was anticipating a hearing and looking at other subjects. Now, secondly, if you're raising with me as Deputy Attorney General the question of caging votes, I'm very happy to work with you on that concern. I'm not prepared today Good. to give you a lengthy explanation of where that stands, if there's anything happening at the Department of Justice on the matter. Well, just your commitment that we'll work on it together is, is good enough for me. Well, you certainly have that commitment. Uh, I don't mean to, uh, you know, I'm obviously not going to be around a long time, but I, I certainly understand the importance of the issue to you right. and uh, the Department um, uh, takes any issue involving voter voting rights seriously, and we will uh, make sure that's understood. Thank you. C could I get a, an additional minute to yield to uh, the ranking minority leader of this committee, as I always do when he asks? Without objection, so ordered. In fact, the chairman is extraordinarily gracious in this regard. I just wanted to point out that the caging, uh, we, we need to declare, and I think Mr. McNulty was fair here, but caging is, a, as I understand it, a term of art for mail houses that relates to what you do with a letter that comes back because it didn't have an address that, that worked. And I see, and that's all you know about caging. Well, what I think that the term means, uh, I'm not an expert in, in the area at all. Well, well, maybe I ought to bring you in and let's us.